the third period making shots, uh, but it started like it always will if we're successful that, that we played good defense. They had, you know, what was it, 18 points in the third period. I thought our second period we held them to 14 points, but the third period especially let us get out and go. You wanted to really embrace a three-point line with Joel gone. The two of 19 at the half, what do you tell your players and how did you... Go from there. We, we, we got, that's who we are. Like, if we are open, we need to shoot the ball. And I think we got to do a better job of offensive rebounding. That disturbed me more than two for 19. There were a few threes you wish you had back that were poor, quick threes, contested threes. But to have only had, I think, five offensive rebounds behind that poor two for 19 percentage, that's the thing that's not acceptable. And uh, we, we are going to shoot more threes. Uh, it'll come out of our structure. It'll be organized um, with uh, sort of the flow of the game, but um, you know, to, to look any deeper into it, I, I'm not. I think that that, in fact, was the thing that let us jump out in the third period. When you have such a gap to fill at the five spot, how did you assess how all of the players who filled in tonight did there? I thought they did a good job. You know, I, I look forward to seeing the tape with the rebounding. I thought, for the most part, our defense was what impressed me. I thought. In the fourth period, you know, it was poor. You know, we were up 28 points. I think they got it back down from the last score was 10, 10 points. That, that, that can't happen. And uh, I think by and large to fill in for uh, Joe Allen Bede is obviously a difficult task. Um, you'll know this, you'll see that we played the air sign quite a bit at some five. And I thought that Amir really, you know, had zero shots and had 11 rebounds. I thought I, I thought he was very good. What did you think of Ersan's night, a, a huge game for him? I thought he was good uh, all over the place. Um, you know, he's coming back to a former team. I'm sure he wanted to play well. He had the opportunity to play well. We played him, you know, decent minutes. And I think him, him playing out of five is, uh, is a challenge for, uh, for other teams. Uh, I really feel like he can, can cause problems defensively for them was with his ability to step up and stretch the floor. How about Markel tonight? Um, you know, keep playing. We're trying to get his conditioning up. He, I, I played him um, in, in extended minutes. I went through all my timeouts trying to, you know, hold the fort and, and conserve some level of energy. But I thought he was okay. You know, I thought he made some big plays. He had that incredible dunk. He comes up with loose balls when you think he's completely out of the play and he's so long. He ends up with the ball or has a deflection to, to let one of his teammates get the ball. I think he's getting better. The fact that we've gone five or six questions deep without mentioning Ben's 11 triple double, what does that say about his play and where he's headed? Well, you know, like I keep saying, if it, if it weren't for me taking him out of, I'm saying it's four games at least, you know, we would be talking about his 15th triple double. This is, Tonight is his 11th. And, uh, you know, that's what he does. I think he triggers our passing. We, we, we broke an NBA record tonight with our eighth consecutive 30-plus assist uh, performance this season. We just went by the Golden State Warriors. We're proud of that. We're proud of our ability and willingness to, to share the ball. And he's the, the best we have on our team at it. And um, I think it, it, it inspires others to, uh, to move the ball as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.